June first moved into her property in Chapel Street. It wasn't long before she didn't feel alone. Later, both a photograph and a priest confirmed what she had first thought. After investigating what she had told me, I was further shocked by two rather sad and unmarked tragedies which may be connected to hers and her neighbours' properties. In 1858, the corner of Chapel Street, Pelsall was occupied by a large Wesley church and a manse next door, which would have faced the school. Today, a doctor's surgery occupies the area where the Wesley church once stood, and a number of new-built houses occupy the area where the manse once stood. When June moved in to one of the new built houses, she had no idea that her new home would be haunted, but it wasn't long before strange things started to happen. The first time anything strange happened was when June came home to find virtually the entire contents of her bathroom in the bath, which included soaps, bubble baths and mats etc. June was puzzled because no one had been in the house all day. Then, pictures started falling off the walls. But what was really strange about this was that the string was still in one piece and tacks were still perfectly in place on the wall. On another occasion, the arm of a china figure fell off when June and her friend were talking about ghosts. The final confirmation that there was definitely something in the house was when a photograph was taken in the living room during Christmas celebrations. When the photograph was developed, a smoky figure could be seen in the mirror. Following the death of her mother, the local vicar visited June. Whilst there, he asked June if she would like him to bless the house. She agreed. The vicar went through all the rooms in the house and when he came back downstairs, he told June that there was something in her house, but it wouldn't harm her. June told him that she already knew. When June has had pets in the past, she has noticed them suddenly look up as if they are watching someone in the room. June also often smells the smoke of a tobacco pipe, but takes comfort in this as she is sure that this occurs when her father is around, as he used to smoke a pipe. When June was talking to her neighbour once, in conversation the neighbour told June that her son refused to sleep in the back room as he saw a man come through the wall in there. June was surprised that she wasn't the only one affected by paranormal activity in the row of houses. Then, a couple of years later, the neighbour the other side of June also admitted to having strange things happen in her house too. After doing some research, June discovered that the manse once occupied the grounds where the new houses were built. She also discovered that a family who lived in the manse adopted a young African boy who loved to play in the garden at the back of the manse. One day, tragically, he somehow hanged himself whilst playing in amongst the trees in the garden. I can only presume that this child may have been brought back to Pelsall following missionary work abroad. In addition to this revelation, some years after publishing this article, I was told by an elderly couple that the son of a vicar or verger had hanged himself in the Wesleyan Church. I have been unable to substantiate either of these two revelations. However, if you know more, please get in touch.